Buddhist Stories, The Land of Amitabha Buddha, Part 7 of 7, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 15, 2015, in France. Anyone else? Feel free. Yeah. Yeah. Master. Hello. <laughs> Maybe I can't express it by a word, but I just felt that you had uh, so much love, the God, for us, because even just a one fraction of the uh, your school power can destroy this world. But you, I thought that this physical job uh, for the team must be very hard because even you are on the princess presence of this world people still can't be awakened so it must be very hard for you but you still have this so much love to when you when you concentrate and fix the watch you just uh, it's very hard you know but when you just uh, <laughs> moving by your hand it's easier than fixing the watch yeah, fixing the watch smoke. Yeah, the watch. Yeah. So it, uh, this world, this Earth is very small uh, comparing to other universes and other planets. Mm -hmm. But you, the God concentrated so hard on this world. So I, I'm sorry, I can't mm, maybe I express that. Hard. Hard. In other worlds too. Uh, so yeah. my question is: Is it the most hardest part of this job in this is world? Is in this world? Yeah. Mm. Because humans less. are so hard. Yeah, more or less. Hard. You know it yourself. Don't ask me. <laughs> you know more than I. <laughs> so yes. it's undescribable, undescribable, hard. infinite love you have for us. Yes. So no I'd like problem. to express thank you so much, sir. It's okay. Thank no you. Problem. We love you so much. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I try to love you. <laughs> no, I do love you, but it's not the way that you think. Like human love each other, it's, it's not, it's different, a little different, a big difference, yeah, okay? Maybe it don't look like love, but it is real love. It's different from human emotional love, yeah, or attaching love is quite different. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's love, <laughs> okay? Even if you don't see it, it don't look like love, but it is love. Physically, you can also feel a little, right? Yeah. But it's more than that. Hmm? Okay. Like the Buddha, he don't always say, I love you to Ananda or Sariputra or anyone else, but his action, yeah, his action. He forsake the kingdom, you know, he forsake his wife, 500 wives, <laughs> <laughs> or the palace, you know, summer palace, Winter palace, uh, spring and autumn palace, he forsake them all and go out begging on the street for the sake of everyone that he met and more than that. That is real love, okay? But he doesn't show or talk about love in any of the sutra. Yeah, it was men's stuff also, <laughs> you know. Men don't always say, I love you that much, yeah, even though they do. And like this guy, I don't think he said he loved his wife, but he said one, one month long for her, just for her. Imagine, huh? And three hours of Kuan uh, Yin and, and then must have light to match, one month long. You sit uh, almost like the Buddha, Buddha and Jesus 49 days, uh, Jesus 40 days and Buddha 49 days, you almost there. <laughs> it's just that you sit just for one woman, they sit for, you know, one universe, eh? one world at least. Okay. If you sit that much for higher goal, you probably get that also, you get it. <laughs> it's good to love someone that much, good to love someone more than yourself, it's very good, very good. So that also brings you to enlightenment, no problem. Okay? Mm. Thanks, Thanks, You're welcome, Danada. <laughs> uh, I just remember the story, just lighten up. 
uh, the mother gave birth to, to a twin, you know, one boy and one girl. And then her brother came, huh? and then, uh, you know, helping with the, after the labor, and visit the sister. And the other sister at home, or maybe Anne or something, asked, Oh, uh, what did you do there? Said, oh, I'm helping, you know, the sister, the sister, because she's, after the birth, she's kind of not very uh, communicable, yeah, probably sick or something. So, what are you doing here? I have to do many things, you know, paperwork for them and making names for them and declaring names of family and all that. So, oh, so you chose the name for the two, to, for the twin? You say, yeah, yeah. So what did you choose for the girl? So he said, Denise. It sounds nice, you know? Denise or Denise, okay, okay. Ah, good name, good name. And how about the boy? He say, the nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I just think the nada, you know, so the niece and the nephew. <laughs> so, so simple. But it's possible that some people are like that, you know, it's true. And they choose the name for their children, like doll, uh, US dollar. <laughs> yeah. <It's> a <laughs> A stala, uh, U.S. dollar. They, they like it because <laughs> American name, you know, <laughs> it sounds very trendy. And uh, I don't remember some other names. They're very funny. Mm. And then the other ones like uh, money, something like that. <laughs> it's in English. <laughs> they thought, wow, English name, you know, <laughs> quite, quite modern, yeah, quite uh, kind of posh, yeah. Hmm? Chick, chick, you know, chick name. Dollar. Mm. Uh, anything else? Yeah, behind there. Yes. Good morning, Master. Good morning. I love you. I have one question. I'm I'm a, a preschool teacher, so every day I prepare a meal for the children. Mm. But some of the, they are not vegan, but I have to prepare... Um, Meat food. Yeah, meat yeah, food. Yeah. Animal food. Yeah, animal food. But uh, my assistant do that. I only do the vegan, uh, vegan part. Okay, good. But uh, they transfer me to different uh, school mm. because we have a big, uh, uh, big chain, chain yeah. of schools uh -huh, yeah. in the U.S. So I um, many years I working in there, and they transfer to a different school. And the supervisor tell me to prepare the meat part too for the children. Oh. So I quit my job mm. because I don't want to break the fire precept. Mm. Is that right? <laughs> yes, you are right. Yeah, I know. But uh, I want to ask you if the disciple is the preschool teacher, can they still prepare the meat part for the children or not okay? Yeah, better not. Mm. Better for you if yeah. not. Yeah, so yeah. I quit my job. It's not forbidden, but... Better not. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. If it were me, I'd probably do the same. Yeah. I would choose my spiritual value instead of just earning to eat for one lifetime and mm. wasting a lot of marriage for many lifetimes. Yes. Mm, wasting the rare opportunity to progress. Yeah. I would do the same. Yeah, so but I quit. It's me, you know, mm. so yeah. it's up to you. <laughs> No, I, I quit myself. I want, I think like so you. So what are you doing now? Uh, I I stay home. Uh, I stay home, but I work for my husband. I cook for him. Oh, also also cook meat. No, uh, okay. my husband is a new disciple. He just get initiated. So yeah, it's good. So so you are a chef cook <laughs> <laughs> for him. <laughs> yeah, private private yeah. butler. <laughs> Private cook, okay? Yeah. If you don't mind, okay. Find many other jobs, anything, you know? Go out and sell chow tofu, okay, too? <laughs> Make cake, something, sell outside? Hmm? Make some cake and sell to some restaurant. Do anything. There are a lot of jobs. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Master, I just want to share with um, our brothers and sisters that our prayers are always truly answered. Yeah, if you're sincere, yes, you're connected. Yes. Tell me. And uh, for a long time now, every time, almost every time, I ask something or I have a question or I don't know what to do or there's just something I need help with, Mm. almost every time I'm answered, Mm. straight away oh. if it's not straight away it's within a few minutes yes. if it's if it's more difficult more complicated definitely within a day yeah. but usually straight away yeah. but the thing is um that that heaven communicates with us in many different ways yes and yes. we have to have our eyes open and our ears open yeah. in order to interpret the message correct correct because many times our prayers are always answered but but many times we don't understand the we answer are this also yes. and that's why One time um, recently, my husband and I were facing a very challenging situation. Um, It seemed almost insurmountable, almost physically impossible to overcome. Most people would consider it impossible to overcome. Mm. But of course, we're disciples and um, we know that everything is possible. And so we were talking about this while we were driving in the car. Yeah. And... um, of course, we do our meditation, we increase our Kuan Yin, but also on a physical level, we were talking about what we can do, you know, to try yeah. to overcome this problem. Yes. Um, and then at that, t- at that point, we reached a, like a traffic jam mm. in the road. But it wasn't just a normal traffic jam, it was big lorries, like huge vehicles. We couldn't even see what the obstruction was. Yes. And we thought we we're going to be stuck here for hours. Oh. And then um, suddenly there was a little space and we said, okay, quickly go there. And then somehow, somehow we just weaved our way through it. It seemed impossible, but suddenly we found ourselves out of this traffic jam and everyone else was still there. Mm -hmm. And then we carried on driving thinking, what what happened there? Mm -hmm. And then I I said to my husband, you know, that was a message. Mm -hmm. That was a message that we we will get through. Mm -hmm. We'll find a way. Yeah, I understand. And this is how messages, this is just one example out of many, many hundreds that happen to us all the time. Yes. And this is how we receive our messages. So I just want to say to our brothers and sisters that we're never alone. And give your eyes open. Ears open. Yeah. Eyes open. Mind open. And whenever oh. we pray and we have a question, it's always answered. Yes, I told that in the initiation time. Well, probably not direct to you. But I say that whenever I give initiation, and I hope the Kuan Yin messengers say the same. Hmm? Either you ask in your mind or you write it down, and the answer comes right away, mostly. Or sometimes in a vision, or sometimes in dream, or sometimes through something else. Yeah, it's a sign, something. Okay, it's good. It's only because both of you are beautiful souls inside, you know. You have faith and you're sincere. You really try your best in meditation. And you do everything else in life also diligently. You don't rely on anyone or you don't just sit there and wait for things to happen. You do things. And you are very sincere, both of you. That's why, that's why you can see. You know, other people would say, "Oh, don't even think about it. Don't even try to weave your, your way out, or don't even think that is a sign of the answer." Yeah, very good to know. <laughs> I was very happy these days because so many beings come and happy, you know, tell me that they're happy and they thank you, thank you, and all that. And they, some of them thank you, you know, thanks relatives, thanking you also, yeah, for this retreat as well. They also helped a lot, especially also during retreat. They, they come often, not just today or to retreat, but this retreat, a lot more people came. I mean, beings, yeah, in, invisible beings, it's just, just like movies, you know, in front of me. And it's funny is that, they came in, but their face, just the face, yeah. Probably the whole body, no room. <laughs> My screen is small. <laughs> and their face even minimized, you know, so that as many, as many go in front of me as possible. <laughs> so I asked heaven how many of them, we could keep coming. They said, cannot count. <laughs> They're just so happy, you know, smiling, or some are smiling but serious. Look serious, but not sad. Understand? Solemn, you know, but not sad. 
They are very, they are very grateful. I am glad too. Mm. Yeah, good. Anything else? Yeah, please. Good morning, Master. Good morning. Uh, just want to share my uh, inner experience. Yeah. Uh, during the Thailand retreat <laughs> last time, the very uh, crowded one, <laughs> forty thousands of them. Really? Yes, it was Ooh. forty thousand. My God. Uh, and they even tell me the uh, Thailand newspaper they published forty thousand has people has elevated has to the Thailand <laughs> <laughs> has elevated into the third level of Buddha. <laughs> All rich level, Buddha 40,000? Yeah, yeah, they wrote in a That's newspaper heading, yes. Wow, quite Somebody much. told me that. Yeah, I didn't know that. And then I went to the retreat because we cannot go inside the hall. So we, some of them were asked to stay in the room. Mm. So uh, it's my turn to stay in the room. Mm. And I went inside. There was nobody in the room and there was kind of a Please, like wind blowing. Wind blowing. Yeah, so I feel very comfortable. So I sat there to meditate. And then uh, you appear. Mm. And it was so bright. Mm. You was uh, having so bright light. <laughs> and, then, and then you told me, oh, you have, I have elevated you to the third level. Mm. <laughs> and then you spark a light on me and it spiraled around my body. Mm. And I feel so, so so nice, Please. so happy. <laughs> Just nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, later on, another sister she went to the hall to to listen to your to your uh, lecture, mm -hmm. and then she rushed to the room, and and she was pending, and she was telling me, "Oh, master, elevate everybody to the third level," and then it was exactly the word you told me when you came to the room. Mm -hmm. I, I was so surprised, but I did, didn't dare to tell her my inner experience because mm. I think they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> they would. They would. Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, is it real? <laughs> I already elevated to third level. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you for elevating us to you the third level. You are very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Why cannot you guys talk in a normal voice? Like your mother here. Huh? I thank you, Master. I love you so much. <laughs> Even when singing, you know, I will forever love you. <laughs> singing Vietnamese is the same, you know. Normally you sing better, but here, <laughs> huh? he has different voice. Okay, all of you happy. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear good experience. Some more? No? Uh, okay. Okay then, um, you probably go eat, huh? Or what time is it now? Ah, pass. Oh, it's a look at that. We're on time. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast ready for you. Mm. Breakfast in bed even, almost like in bed. Oh, it's good, huh? Anyone else want to say something? Otherwise, buon appetito. Mm. It was not bad talking to you four hours on end. No, five, three. Uh, I came at what? Five o'clock, huh? More or less, right? Four o'clock? No. How about four? Four thirty? Okay, then I could say another half an hour and they become four, four hours. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> you need to eat. Go eat and your mama go sleep. Mm. I don't know if I can sleep. My dog, he did it again. Yesterday, thunder and raining. And he jumped on my bed again. And my bed is under the bed, you know? I use the bed to put things down. And then the under, I sleep under the bed. And then he, so scared, he jumped on the bed again. <laughs> yeah. I say, You tough guy, you don't worry about that. But too much uh, thunder so quick because their ears are very sensitive, you know. So we hear a little bit, we are already very scared, you know. Not, not scared, but uh, feeling uncomfy, you know. Very loud and, and then for dogs it would be worse, you know. So I like to hide. 
ગુડ મોર્નિંગ ગુડ આ બધી ઓકે